Hey, welcome back to another episode of Let's Wing This, the YouTube channel where I only have a general idea of what I'm doing when I get started, and I figure it out on camera for you to follow along. Today, I desperately need a haircut. It's so bad. It's really terrible. But that's not what we're gonna do. If you saw one of my more recent videos about replacing an attic fan, which is right up here in the corner for you to click on, uh, you'll know that I have a recess light that is overheating. Hopefully I've solved the overheating problem by replacing the attic fan. However, the ballast in this light has still gone bad. So when the light is turned on and it does warm up, it shuts off. So I went out and actually I didn't go out. We don't go out now. I ordered on the internet a six pack of replacements. Great packaging. So I got the six pack to replace the one light because these are on clearance and they're not going to exist anymore. So I figured having a few spares is probably a good idea if I want them to match the other 11 that I have in the house. So uh, fortunately, I am comfortable changing a light fixture. Unfortunately, I've never changed a recess light, so I don't know what's involved in it. So let's wing this. Okay, so let's tear into this thing and see what we've got. Well, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Really, Menards? Really? Five lights. Well, good news is I only need one of these right now, and the others are going to be spares anyway. Okay, I think I see how this works. So you... You put your light up into the hole and then you push these out the sides until they lock into place and this on each side is what's going to hold your fixture in the ceiling that makes sense right and then your drywall is sitting right in here so it's a nice good tight clamp and then once you wire up the back you're gonna put the plate over it and close it up. So first things first, I'm gonna check and make sure that the power is turned off. And it is, because I already did that off camera. So for this particular light fixture, I have changed the bulbs before. You actually just have to get your nails underneath the trim piece and pull downward. The bulb actually hangs out right here inside the fixture. So we can unscrew the entire trim piece from the socket and get it out of the way. Now to get the actual fixture out, I'm going to hopefully not pinch a finger and detach these levers that I found when I opened the ones in the garage. Hope I don't get a face full of insulation here. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna take the back off of this. So there is a lot of thick gauge wire inside this tiny fixture.
That was certainly easier said than done. I removed this little grommet from the fixture that I just took down. And this is going to be used to make sure that the wires don't pull back out of the fixture. All right, so all the easy parts are done now. Now I have to stick all of these incredibly stiff wires back through the tiny little opening, bend all of them to where they can be connected securely to my light fixture, stuff all the wires back inside, close it up and put it back in the ceiling. Super easy. Okay, so I got all the wires in there secured. Now I have to somehow get the wires that are different lengths to all come together, matching colors, of course, and get them into a wire nut secure. I'm gonna start with white wires, simply for the fact that they're the shortest and hardest to work with of what I've got here. So my tip here is to get all of your wires bent into a shape where you can hold them tightly and have the ends of all three wires right next to each other. So I'm going to get the wire nut on secure. I'm going to give a little tug on each of the wires and make sure they're all actually in there securely. There's a bit of a catch-22 with stuff like this. The more wire you have, the easier it is to work with. The harder it is to tuck it away when you're done. So pick your poison. None of this is particularly fun, but it doesn't have to be fun if you're saving the money on an electrician. By all means, though, if you got the money, spend it. Also, if you're not comfortable with electrical work and you don't know what you're doing, hire an electrician. Now, yeah, I had swapped out my halogen bulbs a long time ago for LEDs because they're so much more efficient. And the halogens ran even hotter than the LEDs do. So, I'm not going to use the bulb that came with it. Instead, I'm going to use my old bulb. Now, just to turn the electricity back on, see if it works. Hooray! <sighs> okay, so quick recap. If you are comfortable with working with electricity, and if you don't mind getting some bruised knuckles and some torn up nails and doing a little bit of hard work, you can change a light fixture just fine. If those things don't apply to you, hire an electrician. That's it. I'm done.